I have three beautiful nephews. Every time they go to Disneyland and they go on It's a Small World, uh, the hippo is anti. It hurts. I have an amazing trainer for you. Ten is your max out like you're dead. I'm like a nine. Losing weight, it's a battle. I don't know whether I can do this. I want to help build what is healthy for you. I'm really not seeing that much progress. I'm so used to being barked at by my mom. 200 pounds? It's not fair to your husband. I met with Tyler the Medium, and Tyler has agreed to meet with you. He's showing me dad, and he's showing me brother, specifically in like near-death experiences. Who do you want to get revenge on? My brother. Oh, my God. <laughs> my mom needs to understand that what she did really did hurt me and what it meant to me. Holy. I'm Khloe Kardashian. Growing up, people called me the fat, funny sister. Until one day, I started working out, eating right, and putting myself first. And you know what? I've never felt better. <laughs> Now I'm helping others transform by hooking them up with my favorite Hollywood trainers and glam experts to turn their lives around and shut down the shamers. Because a great body is the best revenge. Hi, Jesse. Hi. <laughs> Ready to meet Chloe? It's a very surreal feeling. You never think you'll meet someone like Chloe, like in real life. I have the biggest girl crush on Chloe. I love her. Certainly doesn't feel real. Just yet. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. It's nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Nice to see you. Thank Look you. At you. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> you're a funny. masterpiece, girl. I mean, your body is ridiculous. It's like a waist, like a whisper, and ass, like a planet. It's amazing. <laughs> Who doesn't want that? I literally, every single day, I get, holy, you look exactly like Chloe Crash. I get it all the time. I'm like, yeah! Right? <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. And I just wanted to know, so like, what got you to want to apply for a revenge body? I've battled with weight issues my whole life. Mm. My whole childhood, my grandfather was Marine Corps captain. Mm -hmm. And he used to say that being overweight is a sign of personal weakness. Mm. And my mom was raised the same way. And she was put on diet pills when she was eight years old, stayed on the she was 30. Ooh. She was trying to help me understand, like, if you're thin and you're beautiful and you're confident, you exude confidence, then doors will open and you'll have the world will lay at your feet. I know that's what she meant. Yeah. But she went about it the wrong way, and I be I've developed such issues with food. Does your mom know that now? No. I'm so sensitive about food things because I'm so used to being barked at by my mom. At your smallest, were you ever small in a healthy way? I mean, my smallest was when I was on drugs. Oh. And I never liked being high. I hated being high. Mm -hmm. I loved being skinny. Yeah. That was the entire reason I did it. I started doing hard drugs when I was 12. Tried everything. By the time I was 15, I discovered meth. And I was so skinny. It's the only time in my entire life I remember my mom being off my back. My drug addiction got so bad. I was homeless for a few months. And that's when I was like, I don't care if I get fat. <laughs> I don't care if I'm 5,000 pounds. I can't do this anymore. I have pictures of me like two weeks before I went into rehab. Okay. And I look like a cadaver. Like mm. just 98 pounds. Gray. Gross. Everybody would tell me, oh my god, you're so skinny. You look sick. You look like you're gonna die. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> now in your life, being an adult and being married, do you feel like your mom still kind of plays a hand in your weight? She literally said to me, if you don't take this weight off, you're gonna lose your husband. My mom, I'm pretty sure is judging me more now because of my weight than she ever did before. I hate it. So, do you want revenge on her? I don't know that revenge is necessarily the word that I would use, but, yeah. So, I have, like, the best of the best trainers I want to hook you up with, and I want to help build what is healthy for you. I want to get you to where you feel beautiful in your own skin. I'm so happy for you, and I cannot wait to see what the end of your journey, because I know you're going to have such a beautiful transformation. Nothing I've tried has worked. None of my old ways are going to work, and Chloe has come to me at a time where I really needed somebody. I'm so yeah. excited. Today, Chloe's picked a trainer for me. I'm a little nervous. A lot of the big deal trainers are very boot campy. Like, they yell at you, and I don't like that. I don't respond well to that. Hi. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you. Just nice to meet you. Hi. Come over to the office. Have a seat. I was a nutrition and exercise scientist for the military for three years. I've been working with Hollywood clients for almost 25 years. Everyone from Kanye West and Kim Kardashian and Lady Gaga and Katy Perry. We get them stronger, and they look fantastic. I'm going to give you one of these. And it's going to count how many steps you take every day. I want you to take 12,000 steps every day. Okay. The next thing is diet. This is where I start going. Okay. We're going to put you on the reset diet. Body reset diet has three phases. Phase one, you're going to have 
a smoothie for breakfast, a smoothie for lunch, and a smoothie for dinner, and a crunchy snack between each. The next five days, we're going to replace the dinner smoothie with a regular meal. And then phase three is an ongoing phase. One smoothie a day, have two meals and two crunchy snacks, and that's it. Snacks, we're going to go over, and I'll give you examples of snacks. They can be cut veggies with hummus. They can be a little thing of strained yogurt with some berries. It can be almonds with an apple. There's a lot of great snack options. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, any health issues I should know about? I was a meth addict for most of my life. Huh. And I've been sober for 10 years now. Congratulations. Thank you. Jessie's history of drug use have negatively affected her metabolism. We have to reset her appetite, her digestion, her palate. The body reset program is really perfect for that. You know, I've worked with a lot of addicts over the years. That addictive personality does so well. I know this sounds crazy, but they never miss their workouts and they work out very hard and they eat perfectly. And that addictive personality actually helps achieve our goals. We've talked about everything we need to talk about. Mm -hmm. Let's get in the gym. And we're going to start off very, very simply. You're going to pull it in and bring your chest up. That's it. Yeah. Boom. Ow. Oh, sorry. Okay. Put all the weight in your left leg. <laughs> now all the weight in your right leg. Keep going. Oh, yeah. That's it. Okay. I didn't understand where it's going. You're perfect. Now we're going to turn it on. Oh, okay. One more. One. What am I throwing? My, I get chronic migraines. I'm not going to go stand to do her. What's My the like well, what's, the thing, what's the worst that happens? You fall down and sit. She was having a tough time, and she was trying to find reasons to stall between sets. Stand up for a second. Okay, sit up. Give me ten. One, two, boom. Do you do this often with people with big boobs? Yeah. I like to pick it up. Okay, keep going. If anything, you have an unfair advantage. You're starting higher off the ground than the average person. There you go. You're working your butt. I love it. Look at that. Look at that. Go. Go. <laughs> I am concerned that if she's making excuses already, what's going to happen a week into this, two weeks into this, two months into this? Um, we'll see. On to the next. Okay. Okay? I feel like my throat's sticking together. We are ready for Chloe. That's good enough. <laughs> going to be meeting Chloe Kardashian. So excited, but very, very nervous. Coming up. You know, I've got a big goal for you, but I want to confirm your weight. Drum roll. Holy Yeah, what the f You right in there? My scale says I've gained four pounds. It's just really frustrating. I wish Chloe had given me another trainer. It doesn't feel right to me. How you feeling? <laughs> Don't be nervous. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. So nice to meet you. Oh my god, so nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, this is surreal. <laughs> First, I know how probably scary and emotional all of this is. What made you want to apply for Revenge Body? I'm getting married next year. Yes, and congratulations. I my, thank you. I bought my wedding dress. It has lace cap sleeves, mm -hmm. so I'd really love to just feel beautiful in that dress. Okay. But every milestone in my life, I feel like that's when I've gained the most weight. For my 18th birthday, my dad decided to book an 11 day cruise in Maui. Wow. It was the last time we were all going to be together before we kind of all did our own thing. The day before we were supposed to come home, my dad went out for a swim. He was a very, very strong swimmer. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of commotion going on and uh, it happened that my dad had drowned in an accident out there. Oh my gosh. The hardest part with not having my dad around is having experiences that you want to share with them. I miss my dad every single day. Every day. I know uh, to a degree how you feel. My dad died in 2003. I was 19, and when it set in, I was like, you spiral. And for me, my spiral was food. Yeah. And I gained so much weight because I was so internally just suppressing so many things that it was like eating me alive and I was literally eating everything but we can't let these tragic things ruin the rest of our lives yeah who do you want to get revenge on my brother has always been my biggest critic okay. <laughs> you know he suffers from being obese and right. being bigger as well and I have three beautiful nephews mm -hmm. who I really just love and adore mm -hmm. and and every time they go to Disneyland and they go on It's a Small World, uh, the hippo is anti. It hurts, you know what I mean? And I don't think he necessarily gets that. My brother Martin will say things like, hey piggy or hey fat ass. Him being overweight himself, he has absolutely zero right to call me fat. His words hurt so much because after my dad died, he became that father figure to me. So to go from a father who is very supportive and loving to somebody who can pinpoint your weakest time and moments. It sucks. 
It really sucks. I have an amazing trainer for you that I want to set you up with. This isn't going to be easy. Right. Like, losing weight, it's a battle. But I'm a f warrior, <laughs> and I want you to be a warrior, too, because I think you're so deserving of this beautiful life that you want and you can have. So are you ready for this transformation journey? I couldn't be more ready in my life. Come on, let's do it. Come on, come on, give me that energy. Take it up, jump. Good, back down, back down. Let's wrap this up. Thank you. You look great, all right? Take care, great seeing you, got it? Well, welcome. Thank you. How are you feeling? Uh, very nervous. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't be intimidated. I'll tell you, I'm known for massive results. This is my, like, my secret hideout where I train all celebs. I'm Maury Cruz. I'm a celebrity fitness trainer and New York Times bestselling author. And I have worked with everyone from Oprah to Steve Harvey. And they all come to me because they really want to maximize their fitness with the least amount of time. Let's see where we're starting at. Two hundred and seventy-five pounds. Holy! I literally felt like I was slapped in the face. What's your number one reason that you would say is your motivator, your strongest thing? I, I want to have kids. I want to have a family, and I just want to be around for that. Yeah. And I'm afraid that I won't be. Why? I just feel like you know my weight is just holding me back. Let's talk about that. We'll head out to the uh, cabana, okay? What makes me different is that I believe that if you're going to get fit, it starts in the kitchen. You cannot out-train a poor diet. My philosophy as a trainer is really simple. Fitness begins in the kitchen with food. Right. I'm a part-time vegan. I'm a vegan until lunch. And here's what it means. The morning, a lot of plant-based stuff. Bananas, fruits, things like that, smoothies. But then at lunch, we had really great protein. Mm -hmm. Is with that B12 that you get from animal protein? You can't do this long term because you'll be, you'll be gone, so you'll be like, you know, like falling asleep, all right? But more importantly, you're going to be able to eat food whenever you're hungry without worrying about gaining weight. You have a budget. I'm going to give you 100 calories today. Would you buy the 100 calories on two cookies or 25 strawberries? 25 strawberries. That's what this whole plan is about. We're going to cut calories by eating more food that is plant-based. Now, let's talk about drinking. One glass of wine, whether it's red or white, 200 calories for five ounces. <laughs> I, on occasion, will drink champagne because it's 78 calories. That's why everyone drinks it in Hollywood. So that's your drink on special occasions. So I can drink champagne at my wedding? And it's the smartest thing. It's what everyone in Hollywood drinks when they want to keep the calories low. All right? Perfect. This is something you're going to be able to teach your family. And even your brother, Martin. <laughs> I okay? hope that this inspires him. That's step one. Okay. Step two is a workout. You're going to work out with me every day with the high-intensity interval training to target the belly fat. Cool. And that's it. Can you do it? I'm going to do it. Yes. All right. Let's take the gym. Come on. I am scared that I'm going to fail, just like I have done before. But honestly, I am at my worst, so it can only go up from here. Let's do it. Drum roll. Go. I just don't want to be this anymore. Yeah. Every time that I was waiting, I always feel like I come back. And then some. I've done that every time. Yeah. Every time. Why is he going to be there for this time? Because if not, I'm going to die. Ten is your max out like you're dead. I think I'm at like a nine. Think what Chloe would do. She works as hard as you are right now. We're going to do the Russian twist. The goal is that you'll be able to lift your feet up like this, see? Can you do it? No. Oh, my God. It's okay. It's okay. Take a deep breath. I can't catch my breath. Where are you, zero to ten? Ten. I want to give up so bad, it's ridiculous. Three, three. Come on, squat down. Go, go, go. How do you feel right now? I don't know whether I can do this. Tell me the picture of what your dad would be saying right now, looking down. I keep pushing. Go get there. Go ahead. I'm already feeling defeated and feeling insecure and questioning myself whether I can actually do this. You all right in there? My scale says I've gained four pounds. There's no possible way that's right. I think it's the kind of scale that tells you you're fatter, so you have to work out harder. Maybe it's the floor. All right, now it says I only gained one pound. So you're already losing three pounds. Maybe if I take it out off the linoleum completely. Now it says something different again. Now I have no idea how, if I'm making progress or not. I can't even keep track of it. The only thing that incentivizes me is seeing that number on the scale go down. I lost one pound. I'm following Harley's plan. Everything he's told me to do as far as the diet. I just don't know if it's going to work for me. What's the meal plan that you're on? What is your trainer have you doing? 
It was three shakes a day. Now it's two shakes a day and one solid meal. I'm really not seeing that much progress. And it's just really frustrating. I wish Chloe had given me another trainer because everything he's having me do is the absolute opposite of everything every nutritionist or trainer has ever had me do before. I don't feel like I should be drinking this much sugar. I don't feel like I should be intaking this many carbs. It doesn't feel right to me. Coming up, I assumed that I would look a lot more different by now. If she doesn't appreciate this, goodbye. I brought you in here because I met with Tyler the Medium and Tyler has agreed to meet with you. I'm in total shock. I'm gonna meet with Harley and ask him for a different diet and exercise regime because I'm trying so f***ing hard and it's just not working. What do you think? How's she doing? I think she's doing great. I think she looks great. How do you think you're doing? Um, I assumed that I would look a lot more different by now. I had this notion in my head that I would be dramatically different. The then, doubt came three days after you started. I looked yeah. your off. Three days. Well, what's always worked has been high protein, low carb. How about every single diet works short term? I'm making you drink these smoothies. Why? I'm basically creating habits for you and an infrastructure. My problem is I just go into this like doubt spiral and it's not that I doubt you. But you are doubting me because when I tell you do this, and you will get the results you want, and you say, this doesn't seem good to me, it doesn't sound good to me, I'm not sure about this, then you are doubting me. The thing that I'm most afraid of is getting to the end and still being like this. I feel ugly, I don't feel sexy, I don't feel cute, I feel gross. It's really important that you trust the process, you have faith in the process, and you have faith in, in my track record. What Jesse doesn't realize is I'm giving her a safe, realistic, sustainable way to lose weight. And if she doesn't appreciate this, goodbye. You sent me a note saying you had measurements done and you what was the accumulation of all the inches you've lost? Four inches. All oh, over. All over. So one inch or half an inch off? No. Four inches Four here, inches. Four inches. There, four inches, inches, oh. four inches. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're talking 20 inches. <laughs> You're now acknowledging that there is a change in your body. I got to know from this moment going forward, are you 100% in? And I don't want to see emails now with the story of like, oh, and this, and this is so difficult, this is hard. Oh, no, no, no. Did you do it? Yes or no? How many steps? Yes or no? Did you do your diet? Yes or no? That's it. Okay. As an addict, I'm the personality type where I need instant gratification. I know he knows what he's doing. I know I just need to listen. So I'm just going to shut up and do it. There is no hesitation. There's no doubts. You're 100% into this. Yes. Ready? One minute. There you go, good. So three more. You got it, you got it. I had in a few frustrations this week, so to speak. I'm not the same way and I feel stuck and it gets really frustrating, especially when you're doing everything right. Yep, I'm done. <laughs> I have hit a plateau again. This happens every time. I won't lose any more and I'm over it. I have a lot of um, my contestants coming by. I got a call that Chloe wants to meet with me. Am I not, you know, losing enough weight? Is Chloe bringing me down here to tell me that we're gonna have to cut your story from the show? Internally, I'm freaking out. You guys, check this out there. Me, mm -hmm. me and Lauren can have a powwow. I brought you in here because you told me the story about how you lost your father. Mm -hmm. And I met with Tyler the Medium, and Tyler has agreed to meet with you. I'm in total shock. Aww. <laughs> I know that you're a fan of his. I mean, I watch Tyler every, obviously every Sunday when it's a new episode. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm so excited. <laughs> you should be. I mean, it's stuff like this for people who have lost our parents or one of our parents. Yeah. It's so traumatic and we hold on to that for so long. It just gives you closure in a way. Yeah. It does help you heal. I'm so excited for you to meet with Tyler. Like, bring pictures and things that resemble your father because yeah. the better of a connection Tyler will get with your dad. Oh, I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Chloe talks about mind, body, and soul. They all go in together. She paid attention to all of those aspects when it came to me and my personal story. And I instantaneously get nervous because like, I don't know how this meeting with Tyler is gonna go. Our loved ones aren't speaking to us. Like my dad said, you know, something about birds when he was passing away. And now there's like two birds that live outside Kim and Kanye's house. And they always say, one's my dad and one's Kanye's mom. And hmm. just. Yeah. That gives me like peace. And I hope the next time I see you, maybe you have a little more closure because your dad wants you to have that peace as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, no, of course. Coming up. Okay, immediately I feel like I have to talk about dad's side. He's putting a strong emphasis on your health. Mm -hmm.
There's a reference to be careful, be careful, be careful. I'm nervous to see my mom because I don't want her to see me and be like, oh, good start. 200 pounds? It's not fair to your husband. I'm a huge fan of yours, so thank you so much for doing that. Thank you so much. Anytime. Today's the day that I get to sit down with Tyler the Medium. I'm feeling really nervous right now as I need confirmation and validation that I'm on this right journey. The general premise behind how this will work is that I work as a clairvoyant, so I actually see information. When Chloe called me, she didn't tell me anything about the person I was reading today, other than that I just had to show up. Considering I read celebrities on my show, it's so interesting to be able to get to connect to an everyday person. What I'll do is I'll just scribble, and we'll connect, and we'll see where we go. But I feel like I'm inclined to talk about that necklace. Okay. If you don't mind, I'm going to hold on to that. Awesome. Thank you. Perfect. Great. talk about your dad's side of family. Do you mind if we go there? Yeah. When I held onto the necklace, I immediately was getting a pull to talk about Eternal, which meant that I had to talk about Lauren's dad. All of that was coming through the second I held onto that object. Okay, immediately I feel like I have to talk about dad's side, and then I'm referencing to heart, and I'm talking about an individual that would have dealt with a heart problem and would have suffered a heart attack. But he would have had to have had a pre-established heart problem. Are you aware of this? Yeah, my dad. Okay. Dad's referencing to brother, so do you have a brother currently? I have an older brother. There's a reference to be careful, be careful, be careful. I hope that my brother can make some changes. I would hate for him to put my nephews in the same situation that him and I are in without a dad. Now, the thing that comes through with this is he's putting a strong emphasis on your health. Mm -hmm. He's proud of the steps that you're taking to better your health. And there's an acknowledgement that basically you can get out of this situation moving forward. When looking towards the future, do reference to weight and then a, a, a loss of weight. Mm -hmm. And that there's an encouragement behind that. There's an immense amount of pride that comes behind that from dad. There's a reference, um, there's a joke about a reference to changing the location of a wedding. So it either ends up shifting. Oh God, don't, don't say that. No, 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 no. It's fine. All good, all good. And he talked about looking at a card and it's written down. Okay. Him. He's showing me saving me a seat. And yeah. I'm seeing a seat. And there's a, it's, there's a joke. He's putting a reserved sign on the seat. And he's like, that's my seat. I'll see that. He's with you every single step of the way and all of these amazing things that you're doing. And you're on the right track. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> so please know that. But your dad's with you. It's every girl's dream to have her dad at her wedding. So the fact that he'll be at mine is insane. The last two weeks, I've plateaued and not really lost the amount of weight that I lost in the beginning. And that's typically the point where I give up. And the fact that this came right as that plateau happened, it couldn't have given me a better nudge to just keep going forward. Just keep moving. I want you to keep moving. This is the hard part. This is the high part of the high intensity interval training. I weighed in this morning and officially lost about 45 pounds. My clothes are totally fitting different now. I'm on like the closest latch now, not the furthest away. I will get there. Perfect. It's a lot easier than the first time. <laughs> Look, I was being a bitch. I was just full of doubt. And I know that Harley is the absolute top in the industry at what he does. So for me to have doubted him was stupid. No problems, no pain. You're fitter, you're lighter, and you're not helping a puck. <laughs> I don't know how much difference you guys can see, but like I can start to see my collarbones. I'm down to one chin only. Ten more seconds. There we go. I fit into not a plus size, but a regular extra large. I'm feeling good, and I need to make sure that I hold on to that. Woohoo! You know what you're doing. This is perfect. Boom, boom. Got me a wild one. Facing her down. Get it, babe. Get it. <laughs> Excellent posture and relax. Harley, this is for you. Thank you again for everything you've done and for how much of my crap you put up with. It was all worth it. Coming up. I can't even believe what I'm seeing when I look in the mirror right now. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Remember you started with 275. You ready to find out where you're at now? Yes. Let's do it. Perfect. Oh my God. Today I'm meeting the stylist, so we can go over some wardrobe options for my big reveal to my mom. So tell me a little about your style. I've been so heavy for the last two years, and I haven't been able to, like, really express that for a while. All right, let's start with some things. Okay. Okay. I'm through, Morticia. I can't even believe what I'm seeing when I look in the mirror right now. All righty. I'm really, really liking this one. The girls are sitting up there, honey. Woo! <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hi. Oh my God! Look 
at you. Look at you. How are you? Good. 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 How are you? So good. Thank you. Next girl over here. Honey. Yeah. Ta ta ta. <laughs> yes. How do you feel? I feel like a completely different person. It's like crazy. How is Harley and you? Awesome. I love Harley. I was so used to having like brutalized myself to see any results. Right. And everything he was suggesting was so. Simple. Right. Obviously. You gotta trust the process. There's a reason he yeah. built an empire on his knowledge. Exactly. <laughs> Who can legitimately say that their life was changed by a Kardashian? She came in to my life at a time where I really needed a friend and, and someone to guide me and support me and help me, and that's what she's done, and I'm so grateful to her. I'm just so happy to see this progress. I'm so happy to see you just beaming, and just, you look so good. Thank you. And I'm just so proud of you. Thank you, Glow. I'm so yeah. proud of you. I'm feeling really good. I feel comfortable in my own skin. I feel like a completely different person to somebody 12 weeks ago. Remember you started with 275. You ready to find out where you're at now? Yes. Let's do it. Hop, step on. Right. Grab one of those handlebars. Perfect. It'll work its magic now. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. You're 225. <laughs> in 12 weeks, you lost 50 pounds. That is insane. That's so proud Absolutely of you. insane. I'm so proud of you. You look amazing. God. I don't think I could have asked for better results. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Yeah, let's jump on here. Let's do yeah. this treadmill walk. All right, there you go. The first time I did this, I just wanted to die. Zero to 10. 10 is your max out like you're dead. I think I'm at like a nine. Well, I'm so proud of you. You're crushing it right now. And look at this. You've taken it up a notch. Look at you. Now, it's just I'm in my own zone. I'm excited. I can do it. There we go. Good, look at you. When I first attempted a Russian twist, I couldn't sit up straight. Can you do it? No. But now I can do it sitting there, feet up, and I'm good to go. It feels amazing. It feels unstoppable. That's so awesome. Thank you. Don't stop. Give me five. <laughs> Four. Get it up, right? <laughs> Three. Two. One. Yeah. You did it. I'm not stopping here. This entire journey has been life-changing. I feel like I can accomplish anything. Great job. Thank you. Of course. Hi. Hello, Lauren. Hi. How are you? Yeah. Haley is amazing. And I immediately recognize her from bridal shows that I've watched. What do we have here? I brought my wedding dress with me. Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to help you make this dress fabulous for you. Awesome. Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> How are you? Amazing. How are you? I'm so good. You look oh, so good. <laughs> what is going on? We're talking about my dress. So now I'm just concerned that if it's going to work, then she's going to make it work. It's going to hurt. Okay, come on cool. back. Thank you. All right. Oh, I'm so excited to see this on you. Oh my god. Look at how you much our knot is left <laughs> here, so you don't get to see this, but this it's is human. all the way okay. down. Yeah, I could cry again. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> crazy, 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 crazy. I met with Tyler, and we kind of touched on you for a second, but how was that? Life-changing? <laughs> I just feel a sense of everything's okay, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I'm not scared anymore, I'm not yeah. frightened, I'm yeah. not concerned that he's missing out on these big moments. It's just so great, and I'm so happy you were able to have that, because I know what that does for, like, your heart and your soul. Coming up, today's the day of the reveal, and I am so nervous and excited. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi. Tracy Cunningham. I'm not really even sure that I want to do anything to my hair. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> today's the day of the reveal, and I am so nervous and excited. The most important message I want to relate to my brother today is that some of the things that he does say affected me. I just want him to be proud of me, and I want him to be excited to do it himself, and then we can move forward. We're just so dumbfounded. It's like, wow. Holy crap. <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> She absolutely shocked my, my socks off. It was incredible. Surprise? Very. Oh, my God. <laughs> Looked like a whole different person. It was going back to almost like the first day that I met her, and seeing her today was pretty much like falling in love for the first time. I hit the jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> you 
it has been a big change in the last two Holy moly. I told you. Good job. Thank you. Well, let's sit down. I just want to talk to you about some stuff. So this show is called Revenge Body. You know, and when I first started it, I just really wanted to give you a finger and just show you that I could do this. I have lost 50 pounds. Wow. You know, so many times I would start something and give up after two or three weeks. And I always kind of had you in the background saying, oh, see how long this one lasts. You know, our family uses humor so many times to just kind of deflect and kind of brush things under the rug. And I think... You know, when you would say it's funny that the boys reference the hippo and it's a small <laughs> world to me. Yeah, it's funny and it's great and whatever, but inside I'm dying a little bit. I don't want to be known as the hippo auntie. After dad passed, it was hard for all of us and it's still hard for yeah. all of us. And I kind of bottle everything up and make a joke out of everything like he did. So I apologize for anything that was take it seriously and I know. try and tone it back a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Especially now there's nothing to joke about. But exactly. I'm very upset inside that it, it, it affected her as negatively as it did, but I'm very happy that she took that negativity and, and turned it around into something as amazing as this has been. I'd be very proud of you, and I'm very proud of you. Thank you. No more stupid purple hippo. This is the new me, and I'm not done yet, so watch out, Martin. <laughs> But one of the things that's helped me kind of get through everything is I had met with Tyler, the media. One of the biggest takeaways was he talked about everybody's health. And he said, you know, he didn't have time to make the change. But we do. I hope that this inspires you to do it too, because I want, you know, Kate and Carter and Colin to have you longer than we had dad. I'm changing my lifestyle as of tonight, today, tomorrow, as, as soon as I can. I want to get healthy for my kids. But I love you, and I just want to do it. Thank you. That would be so proud. <sighs> Thank you. But, uh, should we have more champagne? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this entire journey has been life-changing for me. I was incredibly broken at the beginning of this. And when I look in the mirror now, I see somebody who is happy, who is determined, who is excited to live again. And I just feel so good right now. Chloe, <laughs> thank you so much for just giving me that push. Mm. Giving me my life back. It's family. Cheers. 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 Tracy. Tracy's the number one colorist in the world. She does Emma Stone, Julianne Moore. Just do whatever you want. Whatever you want. It's fine with me. Are you ready? Okay. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> and my haircut is so scary. But I'm excited. I mean, I want to do something different. My mom has been telling me for years, your hair is too long. It makes you look heavier. My mom is hard on me all the time. And that's why I've had every problem with regard to weight that you can think of. You know, binging issues, drug issues. My mom needs to understand that what she did really did hurt me and what it meant to me. Let's do it. Don't be nervous, Justin. I'm so excited, but I'm so anxious. It's just gonna be really great for you. No one is gonna recognize you. The whole new me. Well, cheers, Judy. I'm very excited. We are ready to I'm really excited. I'm kind of nervous to see my mom because I don't want her to see me and be like, oh, good start. And I've worked so hard. And I just want her to be as proud as I feel. Oh, oh my God. My God. <laughs> Jessica, you look gorgeous. <laughs> look at your hair. <laughs> Jesse, you look just fabulous. Thank you. You look gorgeous. Oh, oh, you look so good. Thank you. I haven't seen you smile like that in a long time. For the last few months, I told you I was working on a reality show, mm -hmm. but I'm not doing makeup for it. I, I am the reality show. What have you been doing? The show's called Revenge Body with Khloe Kardashian. Is your revenge towards me? Yeah. Why? Because I don't think you realize the kind of em emotional distress the things that you say have. Either Colin's gonna leave you because I'm too fat, 
or literally told me I should feel ashamed of myself. You went from what, 125 pounds to 200 pounds? I've on drugs, first of all. 200 pounds? First up to your husband. When you say things like that, it can be really emotionally damaging. It really did, and I don't think you understand how deeply it affected me. So deeply, in fact, I went on national television and showed off my 200-plus pound body just to get it in check. I couldn't even get myself under control, but on top of that, my own mom is piling on top of me, making me feel worse and judging me, blatantly outright judging me. I can't imagine that you would have felt better if there was somebody coming at you being like, you know what, you're fat, and your husband's going to leave you. It was the truth. It doesn't matter if it's the truth. You don't need to say it in that way. Negativity doesn't incentivize everybody. Just because you were raised by a Marine who used it on you does not mean... <laughs> yeah, but I don't blame anything on my parents. I am what I am, and, I, and my dad made me a pretty strong person. I was trying to help you to be strong, too. Breaking someone down doesn't always make them strong. It might just break them down. I care. I don't want to hurt your feelings. I want us to be as close as we can possibly be. I'm going to tell you what I wish my father had said to me. I apologize because that was never my intention. My mom doesn't do a lot of sorries. That was huge. That's something my mom has never, ever, ever said. I feel like my mom sensed that I had lost hope for being able to do it for my pretty much like falling in love for the first time. I hit the jackpot. He <laughs> said <laughs> so it's been a big change in the last two months. Holy moly. I told you. Good job. Thank you. Well, let's sit down. I just want to talk to you about some stuff. So this show is called Revenge Body. You know, and when I first started it, I just really wanted to give you a finger and just show you that I could do this. I have lost 50 pounds. Wow. You know, so many times I would start something and give up after two or three weeks. And I always kind of had you in the background saying, oh, see how long this one lasts. You know, our family uses humor so many times to just kind of deflect and kind of brush things under the rug. And I think, you know, when you would say, it's funny that the boys reference the hippo and it's a small <laughs> world to me. Yeah, it's funny and it's great and whatever, but inside I'm dying a little bit. I don't want to be known as the hippo auntie. After dad passed, it was hard for all of us. And I want to get you to where you feel beautiful in your own skin. I'm so happy for you, and I cannot wait to see what the end of your journey, because I know you're going to have such a beautiful transformation. Nothing I've tried has worked. None of my old ways are going to work. And Chloe has come to me at a time where I really needed somebody. I'm so yeah. excited. Today, Chloe's picked a trainer for me. I'm a little nervous. A lot of the big deal trainers are very boot campy, like they yell at you, and, and I don't like that. I don't respond well to that. Hi. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you. Just nice to meet you. Hi. Come over Hi. to the office. Have a seat. I was a nutrition and exercise scientist for the military for three years. I've been working with Hollywood clients for almost 25 years. Everyone from Kanye West and Kim Kardashian and Lady Gaga and Katy Perry, we get them stronger and they look fantastic. I'm going to give you one of these. And it's going to count how many steps you take every day. I want you to take 12,000 steps every day. Okay. The next thing is diet. This is where I struggle. Okay. We're different. My mom has been telling me for years, your hair is too long. It makes you look heavier. My mom is hard on me all the time. And that's why I've had every problem with regard to weight that you can think of. You know, binging issues, drug issues. My mom needs to understand that what she did really did hurt me and what it meant to me. Let's do it. Don't be nervous, Jesse. I'm so excited, but I'm so anxious. It's just gonna be really great for you. No one is gonna recognize you. The whole new me. Well, cheers, Junie. I'm very excited. We are ready to fly. I'm really excited. I'm kind of nervous to see my mom because I don't want her to see me and be like, oh, good start. And I've worked so hard. I just want her to be as proud as I feel. Oh, oh my God. My God. <laughs> Jessica, you look gorgeous. Look at your hair. <laughs> Jesse, you look just fabulous. Thank you. You look gorgeous. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. The first time I did this, I just wanted to die. Zero to ten. Ten is your max out like you're dead. I think I'm at like a nine. Well, I'm so proud of you. You're crushing it right now. And look at this. You've taken it up a notch. Look at you. Now it's just I'm in my own zone. I'm excited. I can do it. There we go. 
good. Look at you. When I first attempted a Russian twist, I couldn't sit up straight. Can you do it? No. But now I can do it sitting there, feet up, and I'm good to go. It feels amazing. It feels unstoppable. That's so awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Don't stop. Give me five. <laughs> Four. Get it up, right? <laughs> Three. Two. One. I'm not stopping here. This entire journey has been life-changing. I feel like I can accomplish anything. Great job. Thank you. Of course. And it's still hard for yeah. all of us. And I kind of bottle everything up and make a joke out of everything like he did. So I apologize for anything that was taken seriously. And I know. Try and tone it back a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Especially now there's nothing to joke about. But <laughs> exactly. I'm very upset inside that it, it, it affected her as negatively as it did, but I'm very happy that she took that negativity and, and turned it around into something as amazing as this has been. <laughs> I'd be very proud of you, and I'm very proud of you. Thank you. No more stupid purple hippo. This is the new me, and I'm not done yet, so watch out, Martin. <laughs> But one of the things I think that's helped me kind of get through everything is I had met with Tyler, the media. One of the biggest takeaways was he talked about everybody's health. And he said, you know, he didn't have time to make the change. But we do. I hope that this inspires you to do it too, because I want, you know, Caden, Carter, and Colin to have you longer than we had dad. I'm changing my lifestyle as a tonight stuff. Bananas, fruits, things like that, smoothies. But then at lunch, we had really great protein. Mm -hmm. Is with that B12 that you get from animal protein? You can't do this long term because you're, you'll be gone. So you'll be like, you know, like falling asleep, all right? <laughs> but more importantly, you're gonna be able to eat food whenever you're hungry without worrying about gaining weight. You have a budget. I'm gonna give you 100 calories today. Would you buy the 100 calories on two cookies or 25 strawberries? 25 strawberries. That's what this whole plan is about. We're gonna cut calories by eating more food that is plant-based. Now, let's talk about drinking. One glass of wine, whether yeah. it's red or white, 200 calories for five ounces. <laughs> I, on occasion, will drink champagne because it's 78 calories. That's why everyone drinks it in Hollywood. So that's your drink on special occasions. So I can drink champagne at my wedding? And it's the smartest thing. It's what everyone in Hollywood drinks when they want to keep the calories low. All right? Perfect. This is something you're going to be able to teach your family. And even your brother, Martin. <laughs> I okay? hope that this inspires him. That's step one. Okay. Step two is a workout. You're going to work out with me every day with the high-intensity interval training to target the belly fat. Cool. And that's it. Can you do it? I'm going to do it. You would say it's your motivator, your strongest thing. I, I want to have kids, I want to have a family, and I just want to be around for that. Yeah. And I'm afraid that I won't be. Why? I just feel like, you know, my weight is just holding me back. Let's talk about that. We'll head out to the uh, cabana, okay? What makes me different is that I believe that if you're going to get fit, it starts in the kitchen. You cannot out-train a poor diet. My philosophy as a trainer is really simple. Fitness begins in the kitchen with food. Right. I'm a part-time vegan. I'm a vegan until lunch. And here's what it means. The morning, a lot of plant-based stuff, bananas, fruits, things like that, smoothies. But then at lunch, we had really great protein. Mm -hmm. Is with that B12 that you get from animal protein, you can't do this long term because you're, you'll be gone, so you'll be like, you know, like falling asleep, all right? But more importantly, you're gonna be able to eat food whenever you're hungry without worrying about gaining weight. You have a budget. I'm gonna give you 100 calories today. Would you buy the 100 calories on two cookies or 25 strawberries? 25 strawberries. That's what this whole plan is about. We're gonna cut calories by eating more food that is plant-based. Now, let's talk about drinking. You being barked at by my mom. 200 pounds? It's not fair to your husband. I met with Tyler the Medium, and Tyler has agreed to meet with you. He's showing me dad, and he's showing me brother, specifically in like near-death experiences. Who do you want to get revenge on? My brother. Oh my god! <laughs> my mom needs to understand that what she did really did hurt me, and what it meant to me. Holy! I'm Khloe Kardashian. Growing up, people called me the fat, funny sister. Until one day, I started working out, eating right, and putting myself first. And you know what? I've never felt better. Hey! Now I'm helping others transform by hooking them up with my favorite Hollywood trainers and glam experts to turn their lives around and shut down the shamers. Because a great body is the best revenge. Ready to meet Chloe? It's a very surreal feeling. You never think you'll meet someone like Chloe, like in real life. It's really frustrating, especially when you're doing everything right. Yep, I'm done. <laughs> I have hit a plateau again. This happens every time. I won't lose anymore, and I'm over it. I have 
one of them, um, my contestants in life. I got a call that Chloe wants to meet with me. Am I not, you know, losing enough weight? Is Chloe bringing me down here to tell me that we're gonna have to cut your story from the show? Internally, I'm freaking out. You guys, check this out out there. Me, she's me and Lauren can have a powwow. I brought you in here because you told me the story about how you lost your father. Mm -hmm. And I met with Tyler, the medium, and Tyler has agreed to meet with you. I'm in total shock. <laughs> I know that you're a fan of his. I mean, I watch Tyler every, obviously every Sunday when it's a new episode. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm so excited. <laughs> you should be. I mean, it's stuff like this for people who have lost our parents or one of our parents. Yeah. I have to talk about Dead side. He's putting a strong emphasis on your health. Mm -hmm. There's a reference to be careful, be careful, be careful. I'm nervous to see my mom because I don't want her to see me and be like, oh, good start. 200 pounds? It's not fair to your husband. Hello. Hi. 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 So I'm a huge fan of yours, oh. so thank you so much for doing that. Thank you so much. Anytime. Today's the day that I get to sit down with Tyler the Medium. I'm feeling really nervous right now as I need confirmation and validation that I'm on this right journey. The general premise behind how this will work is that I work as a clairvoyant, so I actually see information. When Chloe called me, she didn't tell me anything about the person I was reading today, other than that I just had to show up. Considering I read celebrities on my show, it's so interesting to be able to get to connect to an everyday person. What I'll do is I'll just scribble, and we'll connect, and we'll see where we go. But I feel like I'm inclined to talk about that necklace. Okay. If you don't mind, I'm going to hold on to that. Awesome. Thank you. Perfect. Great. on you for a second but how was that life-changing <laughs> i just feel a sense of everything's okay yeah. you know what i mean like i'm not scared anymore i'm not yeah. frightened i'm yeah. not concerned that he's missing out on these big moments it's just so great and i'm so happy you were able to have that because i know what that does for like your heart and your soul coming up today's the day of the reveal and i am so nervous and excited Tracy Cunningham. I'm not really even sure that I want to do anything to my hair. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> Today's the day of the reveal, and I am so nervous and excited. The most important message I want to relate to my brother today is that some of the things that he does say affected me. I just want him to be proud of me, and I want him to be excited to do it himself, and then we can move forward. <laughs> We're just all dumbfounded. It's like, wow. Holy crap. <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> she absolutely shocked my, my socks off. It was incredible. Surprise? Very. Oh, my God. <laughs> Looked like a whole different person. It was going back to almost like the first day that I met her, and seeing her today was pretty much like falling in love for the first time. I hit the jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> so there's been a big change in the last two months. Holy moly. I told you. Good job. Thank you. Well, let's sit down. I just want to talk to you about some stuff. So this show is called Revenge Body. You know, and when I first started it, I just really wanted to give you a finger and just show you that I could do this. I have lost 50 pounds. Wow. You know, so many times I would start something and give up after two or three weeks. And I always kind of had you in the background saying, oh, see how long this one lasts. You know, our family uses humor so many times to just kind of deflect and kind of brush things under the rug. And I think... You know, when you would say, it's funny that the boys reference the hippo and it's a small world to me. Yeah, it's funny and it's great and whatever, but inside, I'm dying a little bit. I don't want to be known as the hippo auntie. After dad passed, it was hard for all of us. And it's still hard for yeah. all of us. And I kind of bottle everything up and make a joke out of everything like he did, so. I apologize for anything that was taken seriously. And I know. Try and tone it back a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Especially now there's nothing to joke about. But exactly. I'm very 
upset inside that it, it, it affected her as negatively as it did, but I'm very happy that she took that negativity and, and turned it around into something as amazing as this has been. <laughs> I'd be very proud of you, and I'm very proud of you. Thank you. No more stupid purple hippo. This is the new me, and I'm not done yet, so watch out, Martin. <laughs> But one of the things I think that's helped me kind of get through everything is I had met with Tyler, the media. One of the biggest takeaways was he talked about everybody's health. And he said, you know, he didn't have time to make the change. But we do. I hope that this inspires you to do it too, because I want, you know, Caden, Carter, and Colin to have you longer than we had dad. I'm changing my lifestyle as of tonight, today, tomorrow, as, as soon as I can. I want to get healthy for my kids. But I love you, and I just want to do it. Thank you. That would be so proud. <sighs> Thank you. But, okay, should we have more champagne? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this entire journey has been life-changing for me. I was incredibly broken at the beginning of this. And when I look in the mirror now, I see somebody who is happy, who is determined, who is excited to live again. And I just feel so good right now. Chloe, <laughs> thank you so much for just giving me that push and giving me my life back. It's family. Cheers. 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 Tracy. Tracy's the number one colorist in the world. She does Emma Stone, Julianne Moore. Just do whatever you want. Whatever you want is fine with me. Are you ready? Okay. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Getting my haircut is so scary, but I'm excited. I mean, I want to do something different. My mom has been telling me for years, your hair is too long. It makes you look heavier. My mom is hard on me all the time. And that's why I've had every problem with regard to weight that you can think of. You know, binging issues, drug issues. My mom needs to understand that what she did really did hurt me and what it meant to me. Let's do it. Don't be nervous, Jesse. I'm so excited, but I'm so anxious. It's just going to be really great for you. No one is going to recognize you. The whole new me. Well, cheers, Junie. I'm very excited. We are ready to fly. I'm really excited. I'm kind of nervous to see my mom because I don't want her to see me and be like, oh, good start. And I've worked so hard. I just want her to be as proud as I feel. Oh, oh my God. My God. <laughs> Jessica, you look gorgeous. Look at your hair. <laughs> Jesse, you look just fabulous. Thank you. You look gorgeous. Oh, oh, you look so good. Thank you. I haven't seen you smile like that in a long time. For the last few months, I told you I was working on a reality show, mm -hmm. but I'm not doing makeup for it. I I am the reality show. What have you been doing? The show is called Revenge Body with Khloe Kardashian. Is your revenge towards me? Yeah. Why? Because I don't think you realize the kind of em emotional distress the things that you say have. Either Colin's gonna leave me because I'm too fat, or literally told me I should feel ashamed of myself. You went from what, 125 pounds to 125 pounds on drugs, first of all. 200 pounds? First not fair to your husband. When you say things like that, it can be really emotionally damaging. It really did, and I don't think you understand how deeply it affected me. So deeply, in fact, I went on national television and showed off my 200-plus pound body just to get it in check. I couldn't even get myself under control, but on top of that, my own mom is piling on top of me, making me feel worse and judging me, blatantly outright judging me. I can't imagine that you would have felt better if there was somebody coming at you being like, you know what, you're fat, and your husband's going to leave you. It was the truth. It doesn't matter if it's the truth. You don't need to say it in that way. Negativity doesn't incentivize everybody. Just because you were raised by a Marine who used it on you does not mean... Yeah, but I don't blame anything on my parents. I am what I am, and, I, and my dad made me a pretty strong person. I was trying to help you to be strong, too. Breaking someone down doesn't always make them strong. It might just break them down. I care. I don't want to hurt your feelings. I want us to be as close as we can possibly be. I'm going to tell you what I wish my father had said to me. 
I apologize because that was never my intention. My mom doesn't do a lot of sorries. That was huge. That's something my mom has never, ever, ever said. I feel like my mom sensed that I had lost hope for being able to do it for my